dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. Return to the people. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I just want to make a fast video with my slight disappointment in the Royal Canadian Mint as of late. I've noticed, like probably a lot of you guys and girls have noticed, that they keep on coming out with subscription series and it's starting to get out of hand. But first of all, this is just the Master uh, Club page. And they have a quarter ounce fine silver architect B and Hive. They're asking 70 bucks for a quarter ounce of silver. I know it's numismatic, I, I'm usually a big fan of them, but quarter ounce, 70 bucks just because it has some paint on it. Uh, it doesn't look all that grand and stuff. They also have a new canopy coming out. All these subscriptions and series now, it's starting to make me detour from buying numismatics because it's getting way too commercial. So I don't know. The tree series, it says one ounce fine silver Canadian canopy spring. So I'm going to assume they're going to make a spring, fall, summer, and winter series. I'm assuming. Who knows? But I was thinking about getting it, but then I thought, ah. Do I really want to pay a hundred bucks, or actually four hundred bucks for four ounces with trees on them? Like they look pretty good, but I don't know. I'm just kind of peeved, and I'll tell you the true reason why. Here, let me just move this because of this. What I just got in the mail today. Here, let me just get this set up. So, a lot of people have subscribed to this O Canada series. But today again the mail, it's the same series, but they're releasing another series within the series. So they're making a six select Canadian images. I don't know what's going on here. I already ordered the series. Like when I see this, it just makes me upset because it's gonna depreciate the value of the overall series if they just keep on producing series within series. So there you have the one ounce, which I'm a subscriber of, and they look really nice high detail and stuff plus they already have the O Canada gold uh, one tenth ounce series plus on top of it all they got all these but now this series they're making into a six coin series on top of the 12 coin series and the only difference is they're throwing in a freaking box so a cardboard box right there sorry my camera sucks the angle on it so a uh, $20 value for a freaking collector box. So now it's peed off because most people when they collect things, they want the whole series. But I don't want to have to go out and spend another freaking whatever amount of money just to get a freaking box with six coins. And on top of it, they're putting the, the least, I'm going to assume, the least sought after coins. Well, some of them, like the summer one, probably won't sell too well. Niagara Falls is all right. The caribou actually looks really nice. And of course, polar bears always sell pretty good. But... They're kind of subpar coins. Like they put the hockey coin in there and then the colored one. So I'm not a big fan of that and that's my little beef with the Royal Canadian Mint right now. I just hope they stop making all these subscriptions and then making additives or additions to the original subscriptions. So one subscription turns into a freaking four. It's getting ridiculous. Anyway, sorry for my little rant, but I'm just kind of peeved with the Royal Canadian Mint. But you know, they're in the business of making money but that's one way how to drive true customers away is by freaking manipulating the crap out of things and just mass producing series within series. Anyways, that's the rant for the day. All right, guys. Cheers. See you next video.